zippity doo dah beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a couple of, of tools, their worksheets that are gonna help you as you're making your phone calls. Now, um, so this, this, this worksheet that you see in front of you, this first one that we're gonna go over is what we call as your call log sheet. And uh, if you look down below, directly underneath this video, you'll find that down below. Uh, again, directly underneath this video. Just click on the little link and it's gonna open it up like what you see here. And uh, it's in a PDF format, so it's gonna be easy for you no matter what uh, type of computer that you have, okay? So just click on it and it's gonna open it up and like I said, you're gonna see what you see in front of you. Now, the way that we got this idea is uh, you wanna keep a track of how many phone calls that you're, you're, you're generating. That way, uh, uh, again, we do have a mathematical formula to writing your own check, but we also what, what we want, also wanna do is even though that we know that, we need to do our own tracking. We need to test what our results are. How many phone calls do you have to make in order to generate a lead? How many leads do you have to have in order to generate a sale? You're gonna need to know those type of things and that's gonna help you to come up with a, an even more accurate of a mathematical formula to writing your own check. You know, sales is different. Everybody has different personalities. So some of you might have higher uh, higher, better results, and some of you might have lower results. So again, if you just know what your numbers are, you can come up with an accurate estimation of what your mathematical formula to write in your own check is. So um, this call log sheet, and where I got this idea was when I was selling tools with my business partner, Paul Gonzalez, okay? And what they would give us these worksheets, and we'd have to go through them each and every day, and every time we made a phone call, we'd, we'd make a check off and, and mark them off, okay? And then at the end of the day, we would turn them in. And it would let us know how many, how many dials we made, how many, uh, and how many sales that we've made. Now, in this, in this case, I've done something a little bit different because we're not going for the exact direct sale like what, what we did there. Um, as you can see here, here's, here's where you can generate leads for the hour. And uh, this, as you can see here, here's dials, and then, you, so this is when you started, and then here's, the, here's hour one, hour two, and uh, that way you know how many dials that you made each and every hour, and then how many leads you generate an hour, and how many sales that you generate an hour. Now, in the, the ideal situation, so what, what my goal was, is, is once I understood this, so eventually my boss came to me, again, Paul Gonzalez, he came to me and said, uh, Chris, you're gonna need to make 300 phone calls a day, and out of those 300, you're gonna talk to about 25. And out of those 25, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna sell five. And so when I didn't make five sales a day, it was because, not necessarily always because I didn't make enough dials, I was a dialing fool. Um, I dialed more than anybody else there in, in a lot of cases, um, but that I didn't get in contact with enough people to make those sales. So the averages were still the same. Get in contact with, with five people and on average, you're gonna sell one, of, one out of five. Okay, so you're selling about 20% of the people that you talk to, um, more or less. Okay, so um, that was the formula there, but we're doing something a little bit different here. So uh, again, because we're trying to create an enjoyable experience, not only for you, but those who we're speaking to, we're generating leads instead. And when we generate leads, um, we're gonna have, we're not gonna have as many people buy up front but we are gonna have higher selling, uh, a higher closing ratio, okay? Because of the bonds that I developed even today, there were some people that I could have gone for the direct sale today and they would have even been ready to buy. And, uh, you know, so, so just keep that, that in mind when you do this. And, but what, what my goal was when I was working for Paul is once I understood this mathematical formula is to, uh, is to make 60 phone calls an hour. So I just stood at my desk and, and dialed as fast as I could and, and do it for uh, an hour. And it, it got, after a couple hours, I just got tired of doing that. And so you couldn't always maintain that, but at least my goal is at least 45 dials an hour, okay? And that gives you enough time to where you can speak to people and, 
and you know for those of when you have to wait for it to ring obviously especially if you're going to find somebody that's interested you're not going to be able to do 60 phone calls an hour right so that's why i reduced it from 60 to about 45 and that that you should be able to do that 45 phone calls an hour and then uh so you can uh, put the hours you know so here's nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock twelve o'clock uh one o'clock now a lot of people are going to take lunch breaks right but if obviously you need to eat lunch too but obviously you can um, when your time zone is on their lunch break obviously you can dial another time zone and that's what we would do as well we would start at 6 30 in the morning which was uh, 9 30 eastern time zone so i was in los angeles three hours behind so 6 30 was 9 30 so just keep a track of the time zones as well to to when you can call and when it is appropriate to call so here's um, here's here's all of that stuff. So this is your call log sheet. Now the next thing that you that is going to be very helpful for you is once you generate a lead. So if you you ever watch our live TV show where I'm actually live there on the spot making my dials, making my phone calls, um, this is what I'm using. So this is a phone name, phone number, email address, zip. A lot of times I don't need I don't put that down. I don't need to put that down. Um, business name. Um, but then the occupation, what, what are they? They're, they're life insurance salesmen. You know, they sell insurance or whatever it is that they do. You want to go ahead and fill out this details and fill out, fill out this information. Okay. Now, uh, and particularly for the funder proposal side of the business, let's look at another tool. Now this other tool is not a PDF, uh, but it is a, a, a Google doc. It's in Google docs and it freezes up a little bit. So, um, as you can see, it's running a little bit slow right here. But if you can remember, let me go ahead and select continue. If you remember that our goal is when it comes down to the funder proposal, which we talked about in module number two. And in module number two, this is where we make 80% of our money in only about 90 minutes to about two hours per day for most of you. And it's also going to depend on the industries that we're speaking with. Um, how you know how many employees that they have to you know there's going to be some some factors you know uh, I deal with a lot of people in the insurance industry as an example and so when I call insurance offices uh, it's it's a little bit harder for me to get through because they have employees and they're you know so it's a, it's not as easy to talk to the person who you need to talk to so you might have to go for six hours to talk to an insurance agent to uh, as opposed to you know if you went for like a plumber or a carpet cleaner somebody in the trades trades industry a lot of those are you know they're they're one man shops they have their cell phone attached to their hip so those type of people are a lot faster to get in contact with okay so um, so as you can see here is name phone number industry email date and as you scroll down here it is kind of freezing up though um, but as you see, we have a total of a thousand numbers on this on this sheet okay like I said it's kind of reloading up right now it's having a little bit of problems running a little bit of glitches uh, when I film this stuff sometimes it takes a little bit long you know it takes more bandwidth to to do it but as you can see here you know there's a bunch of leads on here or not leads but the numbers but this has a thousand so our according to the mathematical formula uh, worst case scenario and I'm gonna say worst case scenario for most people unless you're just worse than normal and not applying some of the stuff that we're talking about here but you should when you have a thousand leads by that time you have enough leads to go ahead and make a hundred sales so if you have a hundred a uh, uh, thousand leads you should have that at that point you should have made uh, a hundred sales and over the next 12 months that will turn into a hundred thousand dollars per month in income okay so your first goal is to make a hundred sales and in order to make a hundred sales for most of you it's gonna it's gonna take a thousand leads now i sell eight out of every 10 leads that i generate so in my case i'm going to be able to get a lot more for less less uh less leads and the reason is because i build such a close bond with the leads that i generate so if you don't want to go through as many people, okay, um, just build closer bonds with people and you'll 
and you'll have a uh, you'll you'll have more people to work with. Okay, you'll you'll generate more sales and generate more sales by working less time and having less leads to deal with as well. So that's always a plus. So uh, I do hope this information has been helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. Again, just look down on the page below underneath this video and you'll find the call log sheet, which is uh, this first one, call log sheet, our lead tracking, and then uh, all of our, our, our thousand leads for $100,000 per month, okay? But take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.